of Journalist Toolbox Training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find our website at journalisttoolbox.org or linked off the spj.org homepage. It's part of the Society of Professional Journalists website. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, one of our old favorite tools today that has a new twist on it. Uh, it's Google Earth Time Lapse. It's a time lapse tool that measures 37 years of satellite imagery uh, over a given area on the Earth's surface. It has millions of uh, satellite images from NASA, uh, the NOAA, the U.S. Geological Survey, and other uh, uh, government entities uh, that have been stitched together by Google. Uh, so you can go in and look at these changes in the environment, agricultural patterns, uh, uh, urban growth. Uh, it's good for census stories. Um, and, and this tool's been around since 2016, but it's got some new twists to it and even a new version of it. Uh, that I think it's important to share. Um, so uh, this first link here we'll look at is the old version of Google Earth Time Lapse. They've since updated it uh, with new images uh, dating from uh, 1984 uh, all the way up to 2020. Um, the time lapse uh, module is right here. Um, you can see the ticker playing through the years at the bottom. Uh, it went up to 2018 until uh, recently uh, and is now uh, going all the way up to 2020. Uh, so you, you can see the uh, glacier melting away here, and uh, you can adjust the speeds in the lower right. Uh, there's quarter, half, and full speed. The 1x speed will allow it to play much faster. And the first time I ever saw a media outlet use this, CNN had this playing on a monitor behind someone talking about global warming. So this is really effective uh, uh, use of the tool. Um, you can also uh, use it to, to look at things like, you know, the wildfires uh, damage. Uh, uh, Nebraska City, Nebraska, we're going to look at right now, which had a lot of flooding in 2019. Uh, you might remember the great Midwest floods, you know, all the rainstorms and uh, how the Missouri River flooded and things like that. Um, you can really pick up on that kind of stuff here. Um, so as we look through it playing here, we'll stop right up around 2019 and 2020. And you can see this whole area in here along the Missouri River flooded. Uh, these roads were impassable and things like that. Uh, but if you go back to 2016, uh, you know, the floodplain uh, was clear. It uh, works with wildfires. It uh, works with, uh, you know, tornadoes. If the area's been hit by a tornado or a hurricane, uh, you can see that area change. It's also good for, uh, you know, showing uh, urban growth as well. You know, so we start with Nebraska City here in 1984. Uh, we can see this little town along the Missouri River has grown. Um, it's even more effective when you look at larger cities, you know, Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, which has seen, you know, astronomical growth over the last four decades. Uh, it changes significantly, but also look at uh, you know Lake Mead over here, how it's changing uh, as the city here grows. Um, very easy to embed these. Click on the link in the upper left. It gives you a hot link or an embed code. Um, so you know it's now updated with two more fresh years of uh, satellite imagery, and you can look at the Malibu wildfires. Uh, the Australia bushfires, um, you know, flooding through the Midwest from 2019. So it opens up a whole new level of uh, uh, possibilities as, as far as uh, what you can do with the tool. Um, now, the other thing Google has done here is not just created this standalone tool in Google Earth Engine, but it's also incorporated it into the browser-based Google Earth tool. So now you can go to Google Earth and open it up. Um, it doesn't have an embed um, feature on it, but you can link to it. So you can just grab the hot link up here. And what I've dropped in here, and you can see the time tickers move to the upper right corner here. Uh, no, Non-adjustable speeds here, but I've got, you know, O'Hare International Airport. You can really see, you know, how the airport has expanded and they added more runways and developed over the last 37 years. Um, again, it's searchable. Um, they're still adding a, a few locations in here. Uh, it also has some featured locations here as well. Um, so you can go in and look at, you know, some of the glaciers and things like that. Uh, it also has a nice little about uh, uh, tab here uh, that explains how they built uh, this tool, which is uh, a very interesting history with it. Um, uh, some of the featured stories here go uh, and look at, you know, uh, forests around the uh, world, urban expansion, you know, they'll look at cities like Dubai and uh, Cancun, Mexico, and places like that that have seen uh, rapid growth, Las Vegas being one of them on that, uh, on that list. Um, so you can do some really, really interesting things with this. It's a little different experience than uh, the embedded uh, version of it. Uh, keep in mind, too, that these uh, don't have uh, video exports on them, uh, but you can do a screen record, much like I'm doing right now with uh, 
uh, with the, the recording tool here. So uh, you can record this and you'll paint uh, over a certain area and just uh, do a little uh, video screen recording uh, of what's on your uh, screen at the time. You could do that over here as well. Uh, so you can get some video and, and work it into a social media post or uh, some type of news video that you're working with. Um, so that's the Google Earth uh, time-lapse tool. Uh, been some modifications to it here uh, in mid-April of uh, 2021. Uh, and thought you should be aware of them. So uh, again, visit journalistoolbox.org uh, and uh, have a fabulous, fabulous week.